as the sixth graders at Casey Middle School settle into science class. So, you want to be up close to see the phenomena. They're about as focused as any middle schooler can be on two strange objects brought to class by their teacher, Aaron Mayer. These two blocks right here are the mysterious melting blocks. On first blush, the blocks look identical. Raise your hand, what are some things that you notice about them just sitting here? But it doesn't take long to realize that something unusual is happening. So they're all engaged. It's got water. While Miss Mayer clearly has a magical touch, the students get to work trying to figure out the science behind it all. So the kids are doing to figure things out. They were like entranced by them, but they saw some really cool stuff too. They had to look carefully to see some differences. And so we're really working on like figuring out how to make careful observations. Unlike a typical science lab, things aren't wrapped up with a nice tidy bow at the end of class. Using a model called three-dimensional learning, which is tied to the next generation science standards, instead of just pouring knowledge on students about energy transfer, the students drive the investigation over several weeks. A key part of the process is collaboration, so students gather together to share what they've seen, and perhaps, most importantly, Maybe there's their questions. So, this is puzzling, right? That's why it's a phenomenon, because it's something puzzling. So it's never like me telling. Like, I don't tell. That is a good question. Put that in a wonder. Okay. They'll ask me questions and I don't, I won't tell. Okay. The result is that students are highly engaged, as they themselves seek answers using the scientific method. Today, they're following up on one of their hunches, that ice interacts differently with different materials. To test the theory, they collected a variety of household items to see how ice melts on them. But I am pretty sure it's something different about them. And are using a special tool to get a closer look. It's all about figuring something out, and the way you figure it out is to like mess with it and investigate. I feel like a scientist now. It was like way more exciting because um, we didn't know at first, and it's like kind of a cliffhanger, and you just like, you can't wait until the next class to learn how. Eventually, they come to a scientific consensus. On block B, it like kind of melts down the ice, and like it kind of transfers the cold energy to the block. And they can tell just how much they've learned when they compare their latest model to the ones that they created on day one. And so we pulled out those models, and we're like, there, are there things that we can add? Like, do we know more? Who can tell me? What are some of the things that we figured out? Every single kid, we know more. They drove that, so they owned it. It just really inspires me. I feel like it's a great way of learning because you'll want to learn more. Which is cool to watch. The melting blocks aren't so mysterious anymore, but with each experiment, the students are more ready to conquer scientific mysteries outside the classroom.